Hey, it's a nice day. It's a good opportunity for me to show you my special handlebars that I made myself. I couldn't find anything like these for sale, so I figured out how to make my own, which is, I can't believe I pulled it off. The point here of these handlebars is that they have four, one, two, three, and four levers. Now, of course, there's only two sets of brakes on the bike, so each of these, these levers come in pairs. This one and this one uh, work one end, and the other two work the other end. And the whole point of this is that it means that I have this comfort position riding along right here, which is almost all the time, of course. But when I need to stand up on the pedals, I just switch to these up here. And no matter how long I spend up here, like if I'm in traffic or going up and down hills or whatever, I can still stop without having to, oh God, come back to here to work the brakes back here. It's made a huge difference for me. I, uh, I didn't weld these. It was a friend of mine who did all of the trimming of the steel tubes so they would fit up against each other correctly. And then I fixtured them with some 3D printing wizardry that took me months to make, <laughs> to make work right. And then I used uh, Muggy Weld, which is the silver solder stuff that works with regular butane torches to do these joints. A proper one would be welded. And I, I said I would give this to someone, but I changed my mind because I, I don't really know if the Muggy Weld is going to hold up forever, even though I've been unable to break it myself so far. The, uh, these mountain levers here, this is just conventional stuff. The cable starts here. And then uh, it goes out and it hits this, which is what they call a cross style lever or an intermediate interrupter style mountain uh, bike brake lever that works by, you see them on cyclocross bikes and they work by, you see this right here? They work not by making the cable shorter, if you will, but by making the housing longer. And so both of these work on the same on the same disc brake down there. And it's great. I love these things. Uh, links to all of this stuff below, by the way, but this is the stuff, all the stuff is stock stuff, uh, except the handlebar itself. Um, this is all 22 millimeter or seven eighths of an inch tubing from the aircraft spruce company, if you're interested. Uh, this is what the 49 thousandth of an inch wall and then 35, 35. Underneath, this is me just spurging out, but underneath the wrapping here, you can't see it, but there is a, uh, a grip piece that I 3D printed that makes it uh, fatter, easier to hang on to, and it has a guide channel in it for Mr. Mr. Brake Housing that pops out of it here. It's a nice thing, not necessary at all. Uh, the geometry, if you want to make your own, from here to here, this is 24 inches or I believe 610 millimeters. I have this written down. Hang on, pause. Okay, yeah, geometry. Uh, 24 inches from here to here, which is a stock length they sell the tubing in. So yeah, I just did that. That's the same as 610 millimeters. The spacing from the, this, this tip, the middle of this tip here to this tip here is wider. Can you see that? It's wider. That's 26 inches or 660 millimeters. These little stalks here from that center line to the end is nine inches, which is 230 millimeters. And these, these stalks up here from the center line to the tip is seven and a half inches or 190 millimeters. This angle right there is 35 degrees. This angle here is 70 degrees. And uh, the plane of these forward stocks is 25 degrees up from this plane here. So 25 degrees, 70 degrees. 35 degrees, 9 inches, or, oh shoot, I dropped it, 
yeah, uh, nine inches or 230 millimeters, seven and a half inches or 190 millimeters, 24 inches or 610 millimeters, and 26 inches or 660 millimeters. Of course, if you're making your own, you can, you can just do whatever the hell you want. I'm trying to work out a uh, you know, small scale manufacturing gig so that I can sell them. Links to all this stuff below. And then this is just a shim piece here from the Paragon Machine Works company that lets you put this skinny bar into a regular type of stem. And it's a great thing, man. It, it's like you have two bikes. You have a comfort bicycle for just tooling along and then you have this nice hill climber and traffic boogie woogie bicycle when you get up onto these and stand up on the pedals. And uh, this is this is a 48 pound fixed gear, dig it. And actually, uh, it makes it totally bearable. It makes it no big deal. With a single speed, it'd be great. And I'm sure it's great for other types of bikes too. And with that, thank you and bye-bye.